What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on today's video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and share the video, bro. If you come through and watch the video, be sure to hit the like button, put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car, and don't forget to comment down below so we can chop it up and talk this boxing. And hit the notification bell so you can know when I drop this content. And if you want me on a panel or a collaboration, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is my email address. But without further ado, let's get it popping, bro. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. And today, we got to answer the question, bro, because a lot of people are starting to make the argument that if Manny Pacquiao were to beat Earl Spence, bro, he would be the GOAT, the greatest of all time, if he somehow is able to beat Earl Spence. I want to let y'all know what I think, give you my reasons for why I think what I think, and then y'all let me know y'all thoughts down in my comment section. So let's get into it. But before we do, live show, Wednesday, July 28th, 7.30 p.m. Central. You got knocked the F out, episode four, y'all. Coming to you live, bro. Come hang out with your boy. Come rock out with your boy. If you enjoy these videos, you will definitely enjoy the live show, bro. We do it once a week, every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Central time. Come hang out with your boy. I'll be making updates and, and giving announcements to y'all on the community page so you know what to expect during the show this upcoming week. But let's talk about this, bro. Manny Pacquiao, it, will he be the GOAT if he beats Earl Spence Jr.? Let me tell you something, bro. Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao could knock Earl Spence out in the first round, bro. He could knock Earl Spence out in the first round. Then he could go fight Terrence Crawford. And he could knock Terrence Crawford out in the first round. He won't be the GOAT, bro. He won't be the GOAT. Not if he beat Earl. Not if he beat Terrence Crawford. Not if he beat Earl Spence, bro. Manny Pacquiao's road to becoming the GOAT been dead, bro. It been gone. There's no way around it. Now, he's an all-time great. Like we talking Pantheon all-time great. We talking about top 10 all-time Great fighter, eight division champion, bro. One of the best resumes in boxing history, bro. Wins over Hall of Famer after Hall of Famer after Hall of Famer. Cool, bro. I get all of that. But there is no way in hell Manny Pacquiao can ever become the GOAT of boxing, bro. He has too many blemishes that other. And this is the thing when you're talking about Pantheon GOATs, bro, when you're talking about all time great, when you get to the point to where you're judging like a top five all time list or a top eight all time list, whatever it is, bro, the criteria gets harder and harder for you, bro. It does. Like LeBron James is better than 99.9999999999% of any basketball player that's ever played. But. When it comes to the GOAT conversation for him, bro, you got to look at the fact that, yo, bro, you got swept by San Antonio your first time to the finals, bro. You got, you, you know, you lost to the Dallas Mavericks, and you was mainly one of the reasons had the worst series of your career, bro, to my Dallas Mavericks. You know, Dirk, stand up. Luca's on his way. Y'all know how we coming. Dallas, Texas all day over here. You understand? But anyway, you, you did that, bro. And so in that moment, your dreams of being ever being considered better than Jordan, they're over, bro. There's uh, there's no route after you lost to the Mavericks, bro. After you lost your first time in the finals, and then you look at what Jordan accomplished, bro. You, there's no path there, bro. Now you can have more accomplishments than him. You can be, you know, what I mean, all time leading scorer in league history. You can be, um, you know, have more assists than him, more rebounds than him. You've been to the finals more than him, bro. But Jordan is the greatest of all time because he didn't lose in the biggest moments, bro. Manny Pacquiao, bro, is in the same position as LeBron James. Yeah, he can get some more accomplishments. Yeah, he can make the resume look better. But there's a portion of his resume that's already written that just totally disqualifies him from this conversation, bro. And you might say, well, knock out, what the hell are you talking about, bro? 42 years old, B. Spence, come on, man. We got to give him. Like, he ain't the goat off of that. No, bro. 
Not only is he not the goat off of that, there's not, bro, there's nothing Manny Pacquiao can do, bro. With however long he got left boxing, bro, there's nothing he can do to become the greatest fighter of all time, bro. Y'all got to quit with this shit, bro, and be objective and just speak facts. And y'all know I got mad respect for Manny Pacquiao. So all you Manny Pacquiao fans, don't hate me for this, bro. Don't dislike the video just because you might disagree with me. Hear me out, bro. Hear me out. There's no way possible. And here's why, bro. Manny Pacquiao, bro, he got two draws in his career. One of them was against Juan Manuel Marquez. I'm not even going to knock him for that, bro. I'm not even going to knock him for that. But what I will knock him for, bro, when we're talking all-time great, when we're talking about GOATs, bro, when we're talking about the GOATs, bro, and you look at what other people accomplished, bro, how can you call Manny Pacquiao a GOAT if he also has a draw on his resume with a guy named Agapito Sanchez? Well, knockout. Who in the hell is Agapito Sanchez? I'm going to tell you who he is, bro. He's a fighter that had nine losses when Manny Pacquiao fought him, bro. And Pacquiao fought him to a draw. And the guy finished his career with 11 losses, bro. And Manny Pacquiao fought him to a draw when Manny Pacquiao was still a young, spry, athletic, you know, top of the line. He wasn't in his 40s when he fought him. He was young, bro. He fought that guy to a draw. Them just his draws, bro. So one man market, I'm not even going to hate him. Hate him, bro. I'm not going to hate on him. But when you get a draw with like Agapito Sanchez, I got to dock you for it, bro. I can't call you the greatest of all time if you getting draws with dudes like that, bro. And now let's talk about the losses because he got seven of them, bro. Tim Bradley, that loss, I throw it out, bro. I don't even count. I feel like Pacquiao won that fight. Jeff Horn, I feel like he won that fight. I don't even, I don't even want to talk about that, bro. But he got put to sleep by Juan Manuel Marquez, bro. We can't gloss over this shit, bro. Juan Manuel Marquez is a Hall of Fame fighter, bro. But he's a Hall of Fame fighter that lost to the guy handily that also beat Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, bro. We cannot gloss over these facts, people. We can't, dog. You can't be the greatest of all time getting put to sleep by Juan Manuel Marquez for as great as Juan Manuel Marquez is, bro. For as great as he is, nobody's confusing him for an all-time great fighter. A Hall of Fame fighter? Yes. All-time great? No, bro. And he put Pacquiao to sleep, bro. I don't even knock Manny Pacquiao for losing to Floyd because Floyd is Floyd, bro. I don't even knock Manny Pacquiao for losing to Eric Morales because he lost by unanimous decision to Eric Morales, but he came back, knocked Eric Morales' ass out twice, bro. Knocked him out two times. So we ain't even going to knock him for that. But, bro, he lost to a guy named Rustico Tori Campo. And yet again, you might be like knockout. Who in the hell is Rustico Tory Campo. I'm going to tell y'all who he is, bro. Rostico Tory Campo finished his career with a great record of 15 wins, 8 losses, and 6 draws, bro. And not only did Manny Pacquiao lose to him, I believe Manny Pacquiao got knocked out by him, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all just stay right there, bro. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Because I don't like lying to my subscribers and the people that view my videos, bro. Let me just make sure I ain't lying to y'all, bro. Let me make sure I ain't lying to y'all. I should have. I should have wrote it down, bro. But I didn't write it down. I just picked, I just found who he had lost to in his career. Let me go down here, bro. Let me go down here, bro. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. He got knocked out in the third round by this dude, bro. He got knocked out in the third. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. That's another guy. I ain't even there yet. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to find it, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he got knocked out in the third round by Rostico Tori Campo, bro, who had eight loss, who had eight losses, bro. And of his eight losses, Tori Campo got knocked out five times, bro. 
He finished his career with a 15, 8, and 6 record. That's who knocked out Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao also got knocked out by Boonsai Saga Surat. Boonsai Saga Surat. Now, Boonsai, he's 71 in like 6. Like, he had a really good record, bro. He had a really good record. But this, too, is a guy that had 6 losses by knockout, bro. Did Boonsai Saga Surat, bro. So you got Boonsai Saga Surat knocking your ass out in the third round. You got Russ Tico Tori Campo knocking your ass in, out in the third round on your resume. You got Juan Manuel Marquez putting you to sleep. All the way to sleep, bro. Like, we can't, we can't do this, bro. GOAT is sacred, bro. GOAT is you better than everybody that's ever done something, bro. And while Manny Pacquiao is a Pantheon player, bro, he's an all-time great player, bro. If we talking basketball, you know, he's somewhere in the range of, uh, um, you know, like, like you know, Larry Bird or something, bro. Like, bro, you are all-time great, but there's some players that's better than you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he like a... He like a Tim Duncan, bro. Like, yeah, Tim Duncan, bro. You are all time great, but there's some players that have been better than you, bro. That's Manny Pacquiao. Y'all like, bro, the resume is impeccable. Eight division world champion. Hall of Fame resume. The best resume in boxing of any active boxer that's boxing right now, bro. He got he got that shit, bro. He got that shit. But y'all got to stop saying he the GOAT if he beat Earl Spence. That ship done sailed, bro. Because it's too much of Manny Pacquiao's story that's been written that a lot of y'all want to try to forget, bro. Y'all don't want to talk about Rostico Tori Campo, bro. Y'all don't want to talk about Boonsai Sagaso Karat, bro. These dudes that wasn't even a factor like that, bro. Y'all don't want to talk about them, bro. Y'all don't want to talk about the draw against um Agapito Sanchez, bro. A dude with 11 losses in his career. Like, look, bro, Manny Pacquiao, he, he's not the GOAT. No matter what he does, bro, it's too much of his story that's written for us. It's too much of history there for us to go back, bro. We can't retroactively in the moment because he's doing something great right now, bro. We cannot let his successes make us forget his failures, bro, when we talking about GOAT shit, bro. You can't do that, dog. So in closing, all-time great fighter. One of the greatest fighters of this generation, bro. But GOAT, greatest of all time, that's blasphemy, bro. That's just wrong. It's just no way that will ever be true, bro, if you look at the shit objectively. And I just let y'all know why, bro. But y'all let me know down to y'all in the comment section what y'all think, bro. I know a lot of people that are subscribed to me is Manny Pacquiao fans. This is no disrespect to Manny Pacquiao. I'm a fan of his too. But damn it, we got to call it like it is, bro. And I tell y'all what I think, whether I rock with a fighter or not. Y'all know that shit. And we got to stop this, bro. Stop even having the conversation. It's really like not even a conversation that we should be having, bro. Like, it's that far-fetched, in my opinion, and in my mind, and, and, and the way that I look at things, bro. There's no way. Like, I'm telling y'all, bro, there's nothing he can do with the rest of his career that will ever make him the greatest of all time, bro. There's just not. Y'all let me know what y'all think, bro. Comment down below. Hit the notification bell. Um, Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Even if you disagree with me, you got to appreciate the research and the content, bro. Hit the like button, bro. Hit the like button. Don't be a hater, bro. And don't forget about the live show, bro. Wednesday night, July 28th, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 on the West Coast, 8.30 on the East Coast. Come kick it with your boy, man. Come kick it with your boy and hang out with me as we talk this boxing. It's going to be a great time. But I appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of y'all weekend. And with that, we out here. Peace, y'all.